Hello, Empowerment Family. I'm going to show you how to log on to your new Chromebook. So first, you're going to turn the computer on. And the first screen that should pop up is this one. It says, Sign in to your Chromebook. So I'm going to hit Next. I'm going to use a student ID. So you're going to put a student ID number at bcpss.org. So I'm just going to pick a random student. So once you get the student ID at bcpss.org in, then you're going to put in the password. It is the same for all students. It's capital E, capital A, student 19. It might take a bit for it to collect all the information about your, your student. So the first thing that comes up usually is this clever login page. Now, if we recommend that people log in through clever because you get all of the programs and apps once you log on to clever. So for now, let's look at these two options down here. You can either go to Google Chrome which, or right down here. Do you see this logo down there? That is your direct link to Google Classroom. Now I'm gonna write out this person's name. But it asks you to continue. And you have to decide, uh, pick I'm a student. And then it automatically goes to every single classroom that your child is enrolled in. So this particular student, here's the fifth grade class for Mr. Johnson. You have to join the class. And then you have access to all the assignments. Now this page is called the stream. It's just a running list of all the announcements um, that your teacher wants to make. Here, this tab is classwork. And that's where the actual assignments will be posted. People is a list of all the teachers and students who are in this class. But your landing page is going to be the classroom stream. Now if you look over here, you'll see the initial for the student. And that's how you know what account you're in. Usually it just gives the first initial of the first name. And then this little checkerboard here, that's also a shortcut to get to all of your Google Apps. So here again is Google Classroom. You have Google Drive, that's where you save all your files. This is for all your account settings for this student. Google Docs, that's the same as Microsoft Word. Google Sheets is Microsoft Excel. Google Slides is like Microsoft PowerPoint. Then it has a calendar. Your teacher will often put things in your calendar. Okay, got it. Um, so you can just check here. You can even put stuff in yourself. If you wanted to put that you had homework on such and such a day, you would just go to that day. You go to that time. Say something is due at 9 o'clock. You can just put it right here. You would name it homework due or science homework due and then all that. So let's go back here to the checkerboard. This is a list of all the contacts. Google Sites, that's if you wanted to create your own website. So we're gonna get out of here. Now, let's use the Clever app. So this is the first big screen, it says uh, Clever. You're gonna go right here to log in with Active Directory. You're going to click on that. Now, I recommend that you use Clever because once you get in, all of your apps are there. So, you scroll down. There's Class Dojo, Code.org, Duolingo, if you want to learn another language. There's Brain Pop, uh, Baltimore City Public Schools website. 
We have Go Formative. Um, there's your Google Classroom icon again. Infinite Campus, so you can check on your grades. There's iReady. You can actually go on and do lessons anytime in math or English. There's Khan Academy, Learning A to Z, Newzella, Office 365. Let's take a look there. And again, you would sign in with your student ID at bcpss.org. We have um, ST Math. Free New York Times, yay! Or typing.com if you wanted to learn how to type. So, my recommendation is when you first sign on, use the Clever portal. And when you're done, see down here at the bottom where this little triangle is? You need to make sure that you log out. So you click on that, and then you want to make sure you sign out, especially if you have multiple children who are using this computer. You're going to sign out of that program. And the next student in your house, again, will sign on. So I hope you find this helpful.